So we are going to build our base album. So what you're going to need with medium weight um, chipboard, you're gonna cut three pieces, eight and a half inches tall by six and a half inches wide. Our pocket pages are gonna be eight by six. So the album, eight and a half inches tall by six and a half inches wide. So you're gonna have three of those. And then you're going to have two spines. They're both eight and a half inches tall. One of them is one and a half inches wide. The other one is eight and a half inches tall, three quarters of an inch wide. Then you're going to get craft card stock. If you have 12 by 12, we can get by with two 12 by 12s. If you do not have 12 by 12, you can use three um, eight and a half by 11s. I think it's eight and a half by 11, 11 and a half, whatever it is. <laughs> and it, the other thing to prevent cracking, try to find the grain of your paper. You can always tell this is real easy to fold. This one's harder, whichever way is either easier to fold. I always just put an arrow so it's like, that's my grain going down. Same thing on this side. Harder, e this is harder, this is easier. So the grain is going in this direction. That is how you want to align your, your spines going with the grain of your cart of your um, cardstock. You're going to put two of these 12 by 12s together. I just have a quarter inch of score tape. So just pull that. So there we have So our two pieces of cardstock are joined together. Now, since I, I don't know if I'm going to have quite enough room for an inch border, normally if you made albums, we always have an inch border all the way around. Um, I measured it, and we might be a little bit short lengthwise. So what I'm going to do is make the, the side, the first line here at three quarters of an inch. So I'm doing this at three quarters of an inch and I have it drawn. So I used my little ruler and made a three quarter of an inch line on the side here. And then I went ahead and made an inch line down here so I can just follow it. We're gonna have one of your covers aligned to that three quarters of an inch. And again, at the half an inch, then we're going to have our first spine right here, that one and a half inch spine. Then we're going to have our next six inch, six and a half inch wide piece here. Then we're going to have our small spine here. And then we're going to have our last piece here. So it looks like we just kind of get maybe three quarters of an inch down here too. So the way I do mine is I cover this basically with score tape and I put it down. So I'm going to use score tape and put this this first piece down, and I'm going to be covering all of these with score tape. And then I will be right back once I get them all covered with score tape. So I have all my pieces. Oop, forgot to do the spines. I'll do the spines too. I have all my pieces. You can see they're covered um, all with score tape. So I will put the first one down. I'm just going to align it with my lines here, like that, and I'll put it down. 
So that one I'm going to put down. And what I do is I have make a jig. So we need a space in between our covers and our spines. And all you do is cut two pieces of chipboard and you that, that you're using, doesn't matter what size, you know, what weight you're using, glue them together and that will give you the proper uh, width. So you put that down and then you will adhere the, the spine, the, net, the spine here. You're gonna line it up with the one inch down here and you'll just push it against that jig that you made and you're gonna put that down and then you'll do Remove that, put your jig down, and get your other cover, and put that down. And you have this line to guide you at the bottom that you drew. And then you'll get your jig, get your smaller spine, and line it up at the bottom at that one inch mark. Put that down, and then you will Get your jig again and put down your last piece, aligning it with that one inch mark at the bottom. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna slowly make my way down. I go real slow. Um, if you use glue, you, you'll probably go much faster than me, but I always use tape. So I'll be back once I get all these laid down. So I have all my pieces adhered down and I burnish them all real well. You want to make sure there are no air bubbles anywhere after you put them in. Turn it over, burnish it on the other side real well. And then I went ahead and marked my one inch line up here. Uh, and I'm just going to trim this off by hand and be right back. So I've cut everything and like a regular album, you're going to lift it up and get those folds started. shorter side there. The shorter side should be easy because they're with the grain, so it should be pretty easy to do. And then just start pushing it with your fingers like you normally do with a, an album. Get that paper train to go up. So now we're going to add our tape. So we're going to add our tape uh, along the edge of the bottom here, and we're going to stop at that fold line where we made our little crease. So you're going to stop at that fold line. Don't need to go past this fold line. So we're going to put tape here, and then we're going to run tape along the bottom here and around here. Now I like to push the tape into those um, grooves in between the chipboard pieces.
think it helps with the cracking that you, you sometimes get with the movement of the spine if you have that tape pushed down in there. So we're going to start with our long edges first. So take off the score tape. And then I use glue, um, I put it at the edge of the, the chipboard down here so the paper adheres, and I kind of put it in that space too where there is no tape. Start in the center, push up. Oh shoot, I forgot to miter my corners. I need to miter those corners. My bad. Oh my goodness. Let's tear this. Good thing I added some glue. <laughs> okay, uh, this is going to be an emergency mitering, so I won't show you how I'm doing this one. I will show you how to do it properly on the other side. Um, we fix this. Okay, so to miter the corners, <laughs> you go back to your jig that is t twice as thick as your chipboard. Make a mark. And that's where you cut it. So it should be easy, but um, my goodness. Two. The long, the other long edge. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I did that. Good thing I added my glue. I don't think I would have got that up without the glue. So I'm going to put glue in here. In that space where there's no tape. And then I'm going to put glue on the edge of the chipboard. Push it up from the center. And then you go, you push with your bone folder on the top of the chipboard so that glue adheres to that card stock. And on the other side, it's probably already dried, but maybe not. Okay, now we're ready to do the sides. Now this is where you're gonna turn in those corners that you mitered. Once again, go to the long edge and get to that corner and push that edge in. Edge. 
do your tops and your corners. Oh, I can't believe I did that. Okay. Now for this first one, we're going to turn this page in. This is the front part of the album with the wider spine. This is going to be our mini album right here. And then do this one. So there we have that first part for the mini album. Now this part's going to be where we have, this is going to bend backwards. This is where we're going to have the, the junk journal or the December daily, whatever you want to put back in here. So I'm getting those, we're going to fold them backwards. We're going to fold this backwards. So I can see that line. Do not want to tear this. I've done that before. Look at the sharp edge of a bone folder. Do not want to do that. So I'm going to get that folded. And then this one. Let's see if I can get it. I'm just going to go real slow. You could just pull it over. I just don't want to make sure I don't tear that spine. So this is how your album is going to be. So let me see. It's like that. So we have our front of the album and then we're going to have this separate part. So it will open up like a mini album here and then you'll pull it over and this part will open up and you'll have, this will be where we have the second part of our album. So we're gonna be covering don't worry, we're going to be covering this side too, but there's the basic construction of the dough, see, dough like that. Yay! No crack spines. Looks, looks good. So next we're going to make our hinge for the mini album part. So you're going to cut a piece that is seven and a half inches wide by almost, I mean, just, I've got it like a smidgen less than eight because our pocket pages are going to be um, six by eight inches tall. And this is just going to be just a little, I mean, a fraction one sixteenth less than um, eight inches. So what you're going to do with the seven and a half inch side up and make sure you find the grain of this paper. So this is the grain. So I put my arrow down. This is the side you want at the seven and a half inches. First, you're gonna score it at one and a half inches. This one and a half inches is going to be your wing. So this is the wing that rests outside of the hinge system. Then you're going to go to two inches. This is a half inch space between the front of your album cover and your first hinge, your first page. This paper just feels so fibrous. Oh my gosh. Then you're, we are going to make our hinges not a half an inch um, Get not a half an inch uh, high. We're going to make them three quarters of an inch high. So then you're going to go from two 
to two and three quarters. That's one side of the hinge. And then you're gonna count six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that the next score line is gonna be at three and a half. Boy, this paper is fibrous. Woo. Three and a half. So that's gonna be our first hinge. Then you're going to have a half inch space in between the first hinge, which is your page one, and you're going to score at four. Now we're going to make our second hinge. So we're going to go to four and three quarters. Four and three quarters. And then count six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's going to be five and a half. That's the second half of your hinge. And then you're going to have a half inch space um, in between your second page and your back cover. So that's going to be at six inches. And then you're left with one and a half inch wing here. So we know these are our hinge. We know these wide, this is hinge one, hinge one and hinge two. So I'm going, I know this is going to come up. This is going to be hinge one. Burnish that there. So that's going to be where hinge one is. Next to it, you're going to fold it on that score line. There. So this is going to go over. and then fold it on that score line on the other side of that that mountain fold that you just made for the hinge. So I'm going to fold this one over. So there you have hinge one. It should look like that. So there's your first hinge. You got your half inch gusset here, half inch gusset here. Here's going to be hinge number two. So I just go ahead and make the mountain fold first so I know where I am. Burnish that. And then you're going to fold the next piece over. There's my mountain. There's my mountain. So hold that next piece over. If you made hinges before, you know how to do this. There's my other. So there's that one. And now I need to do this valley fold. So I'm gonna fold that one over. Once you can find your hinges, you, you can figure out where, where to burnish these. So where are we? We've got we've got our two hinges. So there's the, the two. Oops, I didn't. Did I not do, no, I didn't do. Okay, 
hinge, hinge. So there we are, We've got our two hinges. Now to connect the hinges together, just gonna put score tape in between these. So we want them to go together like that. So I'm gonna put score tape in here on the top edge here. Let me show you. So this is our hinge. So this is three quarters of an inch. This one's three quarters of an inch. So we're gonna join them together. So I'm gonna put this piece of tape near the top score line up here. Where's my skinnier tape? And then I'm just gonna put this skinnier tape on the other hinge at the bottom. That way everything is covered. We've got the top part covered by this piece and then we got this part covered by this little thin piece. Hopefully that makes sense. So when they come together, so when you, they come together, this top part is going to be adhering to this side and this bottom part is going to be adhering to this side. So they're going to come together like that. So let's, I'm going to go ahead and do the, the other two hinges. Here's the three quarters of an inch here. And this is our half inch gusset. Same thing, I'm gonna put this one Now we can pull the score tape. And let's make hinge one, pull those together. We have hinge one, pull the score tape here. And I like to do it this way because that way I can see what I'm doing. And there's hinge number two. So the way this is going to fit in here is these score marks that we made. Here's hinge one, hinge two, and then we have this half inch space between hinge one and this, this score mark here. That score mark is going to line up with this score mark, with this edge right here. And then this one will line up with this one right here. So that's going to be your guide right there. And you're going to adhere it like this. You're going to center it from top to bottom. And then you have those score, those these lines to guide you on where to adhere it to the album. What I do is what do I do? I cover this with score tape and, um, and I'm, I'm actually, yeah, I'm gonna cover this with score tape and then I'll put this in. So the, the hinge is made. Um, what I did is I put half inch score tape right up to the top edge of the hinge so that's going to leave you with a quarter of an inch gap right here. So 
there's a quarter inch gap from where the hinge is, is turning. That is because when we put in on our pocket page, so if we put in this pocket page, oops, open this up. So when we put this in, if I can put this in here, what you're going to do eventually when we do it here, this, you're going to put it down and then you're going to pull that pocket page out till you see the edge of that that tape right there. That way you have that quarter of an inch extra piece that's going to let the, the pages lie a little flatter. Instead of going all the way down, you're going to have that little extra piece, a quarter inch, to help with the, the this turning easier and laying down a little bit flatter. But we're not going to be putting in the pocket pages yet, but go ahead and put in your tape. And what some people do, and which I did on one of them, and I shouldn't have, is I, and what some people do is they miter these little corners. But when you're mitering the corners of your hinges, once you put the tape on, you start your cut at where the tape ends, where this tape ends, and then miter just a little bit in, a tiny itty bitty in, just a little bit. Do not start down here, start up here where the tape ends. Start here where the tape ends, a little miter. So we can um, get the hinge. We're going to be adhering that next into our album. And one thing I wrote down so I wouldn't forget, and of course I forgot, is to ink. I want to ink this part of the hinge because it's going to be going right up against our pocket page. And the pocket page is, is inked, so I want to make these two craft look the same. So I'm going to be inking here and here on both sides. Um, I'm just going to be I'm going to be inking up here. I want everything to look similar. So those of you that feel comfortable putting your hinge in, put it in any way you like. I measure a quarter of an inch from the top and put a line here, quarter inch from the bottom and put a line here because that's going to give me my half inch difference. Remember, this is, oh my gosh, this is eight and a half, and this is eight inches. Okay. So what I like to do, I put wall-to-wall -wall, um, score tape, but for the center one, I know my score marks, my half, my quarter inch here, my quarter inch here, I put a half inch strip here, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull the tape, put some um, my three and one glue on it and then I'm going to line this up and make sure it's top to bottom centered. I have some wiggle room with this this glue and I'm going to let put that down and let it sit. Once I, once that is is adhered, then I can pour, pull my score tape on each side and lay it down. So that is what I'm going to do. Pull this, add my three in one glue, get this lined up. going to bring it up to my eyeballs because I can't see. I can't see. Made it look straight there. 
should go down here. That looks straight. So now it's lined up and now I can tear that down the center here. And I'm just going to let that dry a little bit before I, I lift it up and pull the tape. That way I know this won't be moving. And I'll be back in a little bit. I'm just going to let this dry. So while I was waiting for this to dry, I kind of inked on the, all the edges, lifted up my flaps, and inked under here too. Um, we're going to be covering this with some paper, but just wanted to get everything inked since I was just hanging out waiting for that to dry. Anyway, so everything is inked. The edges of this are all inked. So it's dry now, so I can pull out. So this makes it easy. Now I can just pull out these and put this down. Let me get my Pull this side out. I just like to do it this way. Everybody does it differently. This is just the way I like to do it. And we fold those, those lines. Just make sure you never use the sharp point of your bone folder, just the rounded edges, because you do not want to make a tear in here, which I have done. I think we're all done. So we've got our hinges in. We've got our. So here is going to be our mini album, and here is going to be our little um, junk journal, aka December daily, whatever you want to put in the back. Okay, we are going to have two pocket pages, only two. So you are going to cut four pieces, six inches tall by eight and a half inches wide. So six inches tall, eight and a half inches wide. And then with that eight and a half inch side up on your scoreboard, you're going to score it at a half an inch on both of them like that. And then you are just going to adhere these two together. So get those lined up. And let me pull, get it started. And make sure, I just want to make sure this is straight. And then pull. And then the other side is easy because you've already done one. So get it. Oops. Come on. Come on, score tape. And let's smooth it out and pull. And now you have your two pocket pages. 
out. So they're going to be going in to the hinge like this. 